In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can use the basic smart notebook software tools to teach elements of art. So first of all, I'm going to go up to my eraser and this video is on a R T art. The first one I'm going to show you here is a simple tool. It's the magic pen tool. If you draw a circle, you create a spotlight and you can move it around a painting or an image, a sketch, or even a photograph and to discuss various aspects of the image. If you draw a square using your magic pen tool, it becomes a magnifying glass. So you can move it around and look at the detail of paintings or images. The next one is using your basic pen tool. Um, it's a bit difficult here because I'm not connected to a smart board, I'm using my mouse. But if I trace over an image, a painting, a drawing, students really like this if you use their own photo because they can learn how to draw a picture of themselves. Of course, it's much easier at a smart board. Just going to show you the general effect that you get. Oops, it's tracing around his hat. And once students have traced around the image, if you move the image, you can see that they've created their own drawing. Now to create a drawing like this, especially for younger students, is rather difficult. But simply by having the image behind and allowing them to trace over the top, they can create their own piece of artwork. The next one I'm going to use is a simple tool again. It's your line tool. And I call this one the spider web. So with this, I'm just going to draw a series of lines going from one corner to the other. And you'll notice as I do this, I'm creating what I call a spider web or a 3D effect. Now you can model this on the smart board and students can have paper. Now if you're using young, this with younger students, um, have the dots on the paper. So I would have the dots going down each of the sides of the page and so they can rule to join it up. This is another two tools I'm going to use with this one. Again, the line tool and the shape tool. So using the shape tool, I'm going to create three shapes. Now I recommend three shapes. Students will say, can I use five or six? You can let them have a go, but it doesn't look as effective. Then using, I'm going to get a vanishing point. Use my line tool and connect to the edges of the shapes to create 3D art. Now you can model this on the smart board and students can follow you along step by step or you can get students to create it in using smart notebook software themselves on their own desktops. This next one here I'm using going to use a compass tool to create a flower. Select the compass. You need to draw a circle. Then you need to move the compass to the edge. And go to the edges of the circle. Move the compass again to the next point that you've got. Drag it around to the edges. I'm going to move it to my next point. You notice effectively what we're doing here is we're creating a flower. And you keep going around the circle until they've done all of them. The next activity here I was going to show you is using the page recording. So you go to your page recording, select start recording, pick up the pen tool and you can simply draw a sketch. I'm going to try to draw an eye very poorly using my mouse. 
I use this when teaching students portraits. Let's put the centre of the eye and move the parts back. So I'm showing them how to do the shading. You get the general idea. And then you select stop recording. Now with your recording you can play it back for the students. And you can pause it at certain parts so students can follow along step by step. I use a page recording to teach sketching because the teacher who teaches sketching cannot draw. So I do the recordings on the smart board. Then she pauses it and can teach students how to sketch portraits. Now these are two websites which I think are absolutely fantastic. The first one is called the Art Room Explorer page. And the second one is called Art Zone. Now if you visit Art Zone, two of my favourite ones are Seesaw and Faces and Places.